All right, everybody, the phase zero back with another episode of 60 seconds. The last time, we did not last that long. Um, we had enough supplies to last a lot longer than we did, but I guess I miscalculated in handing out supplies and divvying up what the hell to do. So, I don't know how... I guess it just worked out that two died, or Ted and Dolores died, Mary Jane went batshit crazy, and Timmy just never came back, I guess. I don't know. We sent him up to the surface to get supplies, and he just was gone. So this time, I think we're going to try something a little different. I think I'm just, just going to grab the wife. And everything else is going to be supplies. We're going to grab the radio, though. Where the hell is the radio? I didn't see the radio. I hear the radio, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, my God. Oh, that's cost. That's costly time. Radio, soup, food, done. Gas mask. Uh, where's the wife? Why is she all the way back here? This is so far. Well, we'll grab that while we're here. Um, the axe I see. Flashlight, oh, flashlight. Boy Scout book, water. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get any more anything else. Water, soup, go, 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 go. Whoa. All right, we're gonna see how long this makes us last. We have less people to feed, less people to worry about, and I think we got some better supplies this time. We have a radio, so we can try that out. We got the Boy Scout book, which should help us do some other things. We got insecticide. I think the only thing we didn't get that we probably needed was a med kit. Oh, on the map! We didn't get the map! Shit! Well, kids are dead. Just the two of us. There wasn't enough time to get the kids. Just the two of us. But sure, this is just a drill. Uh, our shelves are full of cans, plenty of water. We got, we actually got some different supplies to mix things up this time. Um, does it still just take half? Oh yeah, we'll be able to survive forever as long as one of us doesn't go crazy. We have less people to go scavenge, but we don't have to feed and drink as much. Trying to remain our best remain calm in the situation we're in is far from normal. Dolores is calm, no problems for Ted. No supplies needed to go out. Still too strong of radiation, so we're not going to go out there. Where did that green puddle come from? Oh dear, a pipe is leaking green goo. That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's use the Boy Scout book. See if we can help us fix it. Something busted on day two. That's not good. Okay, the book's not destroyed, so that's a good start. Ha, ah, problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Water's all Dolores wants. Ted wishes for water. No, you'll get water tomorrow. As long as I don't forget. Radiation is still strong. We could wish you could just leave. They want cake. Well, no cake for you. Day four, you get water today. Re rejoice, rejoice in that. Uh, you both get water. Neighborhood is still radioactive, so we're not going up. We heard something about supply drops on the radio. This might just be what we need to survive, and it's supposed to happen near our house. Let's do it. If it's just at our house, I'll send them up. But if it's super far away, I'm not going to. Look at that. Oh. We hit the mother load. Look at that. Big jug of water. Cans of soup. This gas mask didn't get destroyed. Oh my god, we hit the mother load. We got two cans of soup and two bottles of water out of that. The airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. We were especially happy to find some water bottles and food cans. For a minute, we thought it was canned meat, but then we found out that it was tomato soup. Our theory is that this whole country used to run on tomatoes, and no one suspected a thing. Dolores is fine. Ted is fine. Look at that. Look at that stocked shelter. Uh, contamination is still too strong, though, so we're not going to go out there. Our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting. When we tried other frequencies, we found nothing but static. Maybe we should tinker with the radio to increase its range. Uh, hopefully this doesn't break it, because this is the first time we've had the radio. Please don't be broken. Shit! Shit! I fucked up. I should not have done that. Well, that didn't go so well. We broke the damn thing. Hmm. Damn it. Contamination is still strong. We thought it'd be a great idea to have some role playing. Fun. Oh, not with mom and dad. Nope. Nope. Not happening. I don't want to read what they're kinky shit into. Look like like hitchhiker and bad driver or something. I don't know. We decided to actually see from favorite movies. 
Oh, for some reason, every time we picked a new scene, we ended up with one from a Humphrey Bogart film. That's weird. Um, they both need to drink again, so no. I'll feed Ted, though, because he was hungry, right? Yeah. We'll feed Ted. We're not going to go out because it's still highly radioactive. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite. Well, let's use the Boy Scout book because it seems to do everything. Hopefully don't, no one's dead because, yeah, tomorrow's water. Oh, so look, that's still fine. That was close. And Nestle's glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst. But radioactive roaches? Yikes. Dolores would really like something to eat. If there's one thing we'd need, it's water for Dolores. Or is water when Ted needs it? Okay. So she's going to be eating, eating every eight days, and they're both getting water every four. This is going to get hard to keep track of. Still irradiated, so we're not going up. Oh, look. We could have actually done the radio side quest if I hadn't been an idiot and broke the damn radio. I'm an idiot. Day nine. Today was relatively calm. Nothing new for Ted. They're both calm. Cool. Collected. Contamination is still strong. They want to go to sun see sunshine again. Well, it's the underground. It's not going to get brighter. You're lucky those light bulbs haven't burned out yet. Day 10. Better to be safe down here than dead up there. Dolores is not eating for a while. That's a lie. You ate two days ago. Still radioactive. Can't go up. Can't do anything with the radio. A lot of it starts to cycle through the same storylines again. If you guys are just tuning in for this, to this for the first time, I'm sorry for not reading through everything, but... A lot of it is the stuff we read in the first three episodes. Nothing here. Maybe we've tried really hard. We can hear the neighbors in the shelter. Dolores would really like something to eat. Nope. You guys get water tomorrow and you don't eat for a while. Contamination is still strong. Really? 11 days in? Oh my god. We, I didn't grab either. I didn't grab us a weapon. Oh, that's not going to be good. It's going to steal food from us. That damn rat's going to take food. That beast of Roten won. Yep, stole one can of food. We're just worried it'll come back to finish what it started. Uh, you both get water today, but you don't get food. Still strong radiation. We can't go out there. We're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Oh, boy. Well, you mean you don't want to speak to each other. The two of you. Because there's only two of you. I hope you're not going that insane yet. It's only been 13 days. Uh, they're hungry... Ted gets to eat tomorrow. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just give them food and make them shut up. We'll get them both on the same same day for food. It looks like the area is still irradiated, so we're not going to go up. We only have two people. We can't get as risky with that. Again, can't do anything with the radio because I was an idiot and broke it. I wish I had just not tinkered with it. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. If there's one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio on a regular basis. Yep. Has not eaten for a while. I just fed you. I don't know if that's a glitch or what's going on. It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future. Okay. It's still a radio outside 14 days in. I remember it clearing up a lot faster than that in previous playthroughs. Watch, they're going to be starving again. Yeah, whatever. No, you're not eating. Still irradiated. Our parents is wearing th our patience is wearing thin. We thought it'd be a good idea to take a quick look outside and see if there's any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness. Oh, we got this before. This is the dog. So you shine a flashlight, it should be kind enough to just be like, hey, what's up, guys? And we're like, yo, dog, what's up? We decided to check what's, what it's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed hungry. Aw. We're gonna get we, we get water. Because it's day 16. They're not eating yet, though. Still highly radioactive. That sucks. Oh, dear. We just remembered we planned on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, we are going, right? We're pretty sure they don't bomb warm places. <laughs> wow. I don't think that's true. I mean, most of the Middle East is warm. Uh, day 17. It's been from 13. So we fed them on 13. So 14, 15, 16, yeah, that's still not enough days to eat. Screw you guys. The contamination is still strong. No, I can't send them out yet. We always started, we always steered away from casinos, gambling dens, and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. 
He proposed a two water bottle bet. Sure. We got some water to spare. Oh man, did we win? I think we won. Haha, <laughs> Lady Luck has smiled on us. We won a vicious game of war. The man wasn't too happy about it, but he delivered on his promise. Alright, now you guys can eat. You guys want some you guys want us some water. You can definitely eat. We're not certain. Well We're gonna send Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get ready for it. Yeah, government radio. Can't do anything about it. Yada yada yada. Alright. Dolores really likes him to eat. I don't get this. You feed them and they're literally hungry the next day. Uh, since we're going to send Ted up, he's going to get water. Because he's going to get thrown off his cycle when we send him up there. Now it's just you and us, Dolores. What do you want to say? What do you want to talk about? Yes, you have eaten. You have eaten, but you're getting water. It's been a while. We don't have a radio, though. Day 21. No, you're not eating yet. We were about to take a cautious peek outside when a furry beast jumped on us. Good thing our hearts were not battered by a fat, heavy hamburger diet because it was our dog friend and not a mutant lurking to chew our bones. Good boy. He seems hungry. Yes, let's give him something to eat. This is why I have to ration our food so we can feed the dog. Because last time we did not get to feed the dog. So hopefully this doesn't backfire on us. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name, and the right name for him was Pancake. Come here, Pancake. Who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone the next morning. We can bet he will be back. Dolores is not eating for a while. Um, sure, why not? What we would give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again. Yeah, you missed the sunshine for 23 days. Radio's still broken. Ted's still not back. Dolores is still hungry, which is mind-boggling because we just fed her. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. We don't have a radio, though, so we can't listen to the outside world. We don't have a gun. We don't have an axe. We don't have anything. Ted is still not back. That is not good. I'm getting worried. Uh, Dolores gets water. We want sunshine. Man, she, she's gonna go crazy on us. I can just feel it. Day 25. Ted is still not back. When did he leave? Wait, is she... She is hungry. You know what? Is this gonna shut her up? If I give her another can of food? We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw that one... We saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is, they've probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is, they are huge. Well, we'll use the Boy Scout book, because that hasn't failed us yet. Ted's back! He brought a gun with him. Boy Scout book's still intact, too. That was close! And this, those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us out of the wasteland. Ted has returned. Government is dropping supplies for survivors in the area. They are marked by smoke flares and can easily be seen, but most of them are barely reachable. Despite that, a lot of them are already ransacked by scavengers. How did they do that? One of the food drops broke in midair and now it's raining soup. Luckily for us, a few can survive the fall. So we got two cans of soup and two bottles of water. Man, we are just rolling in these supplies. We can last forever. At least one of the smaller crates had a few water bottles in it. They dropped a... Wait, wait. They dropped a kid of rub... rub <laughs> They dropped a crate of rubber ducks. That doesn't seem right. We forced one of those boxes open and found an impressive collection of stinky cheese and a gas mask. Nice. So I think we already had one though, didn't we? Ah, uh, maybe not. A bunch of folks were having a gunfight over several crates of drop supplies. One group emerged victorious and chased off their opponents. One of the guns from the fight was left behind. Oh, nice, we fixed our radio! Radio! Ted is hungry, you get food, bud. No, not both of you, just Ted. You know what? I'll give you both water just as a celebratory. Uh, yeah, let's do it. It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future, but we can't help thinking about what we can make this terrible situation. They don't want to move to a hole like Toronto. I get it. You don't like Toronto. So Ted's not looking good. We didn't. We still don't have a med kit. Um... I guess we can afford to give him another can of food. It shut Dolores up, so we'll do it for Ted, too. We're going to send Dolores out to the wasteland, though. 
If she, if Ted can get a good haul, maybe that means Dolores can get a good haul too. You know what I'm saying? We still got insecticide, so if they do sick, I think we can turn that into medicine if we do get that sick. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Ted is still hungry. Well, you're not getting another can of soup, of soup dude. We can't keep saying, oh my god, we can actually do it. The escaping part. Radio! Radio savior. What does it say? What does it say? We knew it! The government has not fallen. They are coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transition, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait for their instructions. Uh, Ted... We'll wait one more day before giving him water. Pancake came back today very agitated about something. He really wanted us to get out and follow him somewhere in the neighborhood. This seems a bit risky, but maybe Pancake's on the trail of something big. Let's bring the gun. That's all we got. Day 30. Oh, shit. Ted got bruised up. The old saying goes, better safe than sorry. The rifle seems to be the right choice of gear for venturing into the unknown. We didn't expect to run into trigger-happy folk who started shooting before asking questions. Gunshots were enough to send Pancake running. We got back safely, but he didn't show up. Better than safe than sorry might not be the best choice of words if he got shot. And that's what happened. One of those thugs had a good aim. Ted is hungry. Ted needs water. Ted was hurt. Well, I don't have a med kit, but I can give you water. Alert! There's a gang of firefighters outside, or at least they are dressed like ones. They were banging on the door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. They claim they will drive us out with fire if we don't comply. Guess the definition of firefight has somewhat changed recently. Uh, gun. Oh, shit. Did they take supplies from us? It doesn't look like we're missing anything. It's not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. Yeah. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Hopefully we don't run out of ammo. Alright, Ted, we'll give you some food. Fine. We really missed the life we had. The space, the sky, the food, more food. <laughs> I guess that would be one of the basic things you would start to miss after a while, is food. Day 32. We're doing pretty good. We've still got a lot of supplies left, and we only have two people to feed, so that's good. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. Uh, we're not going to eat yet. A traveling salesman paid us a visit today. We introduced him He introduced himself as Willie. Apparently, business can do well after the end of the world. So he offers one can of soup in exchange for cards, a bottle of water in exchange for a checkerboard, two cans of soup in exchange for one gas mask. Uh, I'll give up the cards, but I'm keeping the gas mask. Another can of food isn't going to hurt us, right? Oh, and Dolores is back. But she's sick. That's not good. All right, we made a deal with the salesman and helped him pack. He strolled away, so we lost our deck of cards. We got a can of food. Dolores came back. The docks are quite a distance away from our house, but we know of a warehouse that had housed an impressive number of goods before the bombings. We considered to pay it a visit. Water, water everywhere, and finding empty bottles to store it in was not a problem. The problem was the water we filled them with was kind of salty. Four bottles of water. Holy shit. A checkers board. Nice. So Dolores got ill. So we're just going to give them both everything. We have a lot of water. Wait, Dolores, you are sick. You just got back, and you were confident you can survive out there again? All right, if you think so. We could have sworn that huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier, and there goes another one. Oh, damn it, we're getting flooded. It's. Let's grab some of our supplies before they start floating. Uh, yeah, save the radio, because it's A, that's all we have to worry about, and B, we need the radio. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That does not sound good. The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got to its case. Nice. Dolores would really like something to eat. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Um, yeah, I'm going to feed you guys just because you're sick, so i got to feed you, right? Uh, I can't afford sending her out. I would love to, but we can't. She is sick. She would probably not make it back alive. They are dying. Where's the military? They said they were going to come back for us. I'm going to keep prepping it, though. Today, an army broadcast interrupted our, let's just call it breakfast. Anyway, they seemed very eager to evacuate us from right here. Oh, shit! We don't have a map. The military is not going to save us. We're doomed! We are doomed. We're gonna split. Fine, we'll send her out. She's gonna die anyways. She's gonna die anyways. Who cares? 
If it's just us, we can survive even longer on supplies, right? Ted doing well, except for the fact that he's kind of sick and hurt. We wish we could just leave. And we're just wasting through the days now. We're making it. We're going to survive. I have a good feeling about this run. A good feeling. We can't. T we can take care of ourselves. Ted is hungry. Not yet. When someone knocked on the door, we were suspicious and cautious. But after a few minutes of talking, it turned out it was just a group of our a group of old ladies who were at a tea party not far from here when the bombs dropped. We thought it would be a good, only good manner to talk to them face to face. When we opened the door, those old bats attacked us with their umbrellas, canes, and something that looked like a spiked table leg. We need to fight back. Die, bitches, die. Nice, we got an axe now. The gunfight was intense, but our position gave us the advantage we needed to drive those thugs away. One of them even lost an axe while retreating. Jesus. Ted is hungry, Ted needs water. Uh, I'll feed you, but I'm not gonna give you, ah, oh, fuck, I, nah, let's give you water too, just cause we got enough. We never thought we'd see the dancing cockroach. We've already dealt with that before, the book is fine. As long as the book doesn't get destroyed, we can keep dealing with that. Come on, book, come on, book, come on, book. <gasps> Day 40. Setting records, baby. Setting records. That was close. Ted's injuries are pretty dire, but there's nothing we can do. It's really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but this has been bugging us for a while now. All right, we're going to go with the axe. I don't want to break the gun. Axe is fine. Ted looks the same, which is still shitty, but whatever it was is dead now. All right. Nothing troubling Ted except for his injuries. Alarm, there's a group of people outside and they don't seem too friendly. We recognize some of them. They used to be in our neighborhood watch. They don't sound too concerned with the well-being of the neighborhood anymore, but they are very serious. Well, flash them with our gun. It seems to work every time. Gun's still fine. We're not down any supplies. A few shots made them run away. Ted is hungry. Ted is thirsty. I'm not going to feed you yet, but we got more than enough water, bud. Yeah. We got another transition from the army. We don't have a map. We need Dolores to bring back a map if she comes back at all. We can't get out there without the map. Oh no, Ted's getting sick. Shit. We don't think Dolores is coming back. Oh god. Alright, well, we'll just start keeping... Okay, yeah, we can't go out. We can't send him up there. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Fuck. I don't think we're going to last very much longer. Ted's not... Unless we can use the med that medicine. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh realities as awaits us. Nothing can be done with Ted's injuries. We can't go out for an expedition. Group of people outside. We'll use the gun. Oh. Okay. So Ted went nuts. It's not surprising that a few shots ran them away. Ted's gone crazy. Um, I think this is GG, guys. Day 46, he's still alive even though he's crazy. He is a trooper. All right, you want water? Here's some water, bud. Can't send you up to the surface. He's willing to offer a, a lot for decent ammunition, decent ammunition. Oh, wait. We don't have any ammunition, and I'm not going to lose the checkers board again to him. We could tell this ranger was disappointed, but that was none of our business. Ted is hungry. Okay. Seems awfully quiet. Can't send Ted out. For an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something's making a lot of noise since dawn and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor. Alright, use the axe. Don't die. Day 48. Man, even though he's nuts, we are still surviving. What the hell? We barely made it out alive. It was a giant mutated crocodile. Oh. Alright. Ted's mental health worries everybody, but there's nothing we can do. He wants cake. He's got a sock puppet on his hand. He may have lost his other hand. I don't know. It's day 49. He is still alive somehow. He's taking care of himself. Yeah, have some water, but I don't care. We got more than enough supplies, and you're the only one left. 
Yeah, military wants to save us, but we still don't have a map. Can't go to the surface to get one either. Day 50. You are still alive, eh? Um, there's no updates I can read, guys. This is just kind of us waiting. Sitting, watching, wishing, waiting. He's made it a long time since he's been insane. I don't think it matters. Even if it did say we could send someone to the surface, as soon as someone's gone insane, we're, they're not going to come back. Ay, 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 ay. Day 52? Nope, the end. There we go. He finally succumbed to his mental illness. There was no chance we were getting out of here alive, so it didn't matter. We had more than enough supplies, but I think sending Dolores up the second time was a bad call. I shouldn't have done it. Ted's wounds were too serious to leave untreated. Oh, wow. So he didn't die from his mental illness. He just, the wounds we could never treat since the beginning was what's killed him. Great. We held up for 52 days. It's not bad. Missed Radiocom, missed Radiocom, government aid. And this is where we kept miss missing stuff. Ted went crazy, neighbors downstairs, lost. Yep. Son of a bitch. So now we're 100% sure it's healthy, plus one soup. There were plenty of bottles of liquid in one of the wards. Peroxide or not, water is water, and beggars can't be choosers. So we got two bottles of water, we got a med kit, we got a gas mask. Oh my god. That was a good haul. 